Hi, my name is Van James. I'm a teaching artist from Hawaii, and I would like to introduce a series of painting videos, painting exercises for teachers who work with students in grades one through 12. Look for a separate video on supplies, the materials you'll need to start these lessons. And once you're prepared with that, let's get started. The painting we're going to do today is for second grade, but this exercise can be done right up through the grades, even into high school. We're going to do a sunrise and a sunset. We're going to do them together so that as a teacher you can see how they're companion pictures. You wouldn't do this with the second grade though, however. You would do one at a time. You would follow the one with the other. Once you have your painting wetted down, as demonstrated in my supplies video, then remember to blot the paper with a dry, clean rag, and then we're all ready to begin. Take first the lemon yellow, and we're going to tone the entire page with the lemon yellow. A nice, strong, lemony color. Yes, like melted butter streaming down from the heights of the top of the page. We let it radiate. We let it sing down into the page. We cover the entire page with this wonderful, streaming, radiant lemon yellow. On our second page, we will take the ultramarine blue, and there we will wash that blue over the entire page. The lemon yellow gives us this radiant, light-filled expansion of color, where the blue gives us this more reserved, cooling, a contracting color, more inward color. Remember to always instruct the children to rinse their brush first in the one jar, then wiping off the extra water, rinse in the second jar. With the second grader, we don't do these two paintings at the same time. This is only for uh, us as teachers to see this comparison happening. Okay, on the yellow, we now take the Prussian blue as a second color. We bring it to the bottom of the page where right away we see how it turns green. The yellow enchants the blue, changing it to this wonderful, rich, solid, stable green. Similarly, in the other picture, we also take the Prussian blue as the second color. We bring it also to the bottom of the page, where it makes blue, not green. We let that Prussian blue flow in sweep across the bottom of the page. Okay. 
And then as a third color in each of these pictures, we will take a red. But in the lemon yellow, we're going to take the vermilion red, the active red. We'll bring a stroke of it. We'll let it emerge onto the page, actually touch down into the green, and make a nice sunrise color there. We'll even let it go up into the heavens and do a nice second grade sunrise painting. On the blue page, we'll also take a red, but we take the crimson, the cool red, which goes more, goes more familiarly with these colors. We also bring a stroke of it. We see how it comes into this setting in its cool, active way. We let it set down onto the horizon. We let it rise up. And we let it ray out into its surroundings. And second grade children will find their own forms, their own technique, their own stroke once they see how you introduce this color into the, into the blue page or the other red into the yellow page. And here we have these three color chords as in a musical chord. We have the visual tones of an expanding, light-filled sunrise and a cooling, refreshing, sinking sunset. This is a painting exercise that gives the children this experience of breathing, an in-breathing and out-breathing. Nature moods such as the sunrise and sunset, uh, trees in sunny weather, trees in stormy weather, and various seasonal images of nature be more and more important for children growing up in cityscapes where they have little connection with these powerful healing, breathing moods of nature. I hope you enjoyed this painting exercise and found some ideas for how you can develop your own further. Remember to not just observe them, but actually do the painting exercises because you learn so much more through the hand-eye intelligence that you gather from the work. Uh, if you want more resources, look into my book, Painting with Hand, Head, and Heart. And keep painting. Aloha. Ahui ho.